Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was up to 2023 Detroit Autorama, and I came across this very cool 1950 Merc I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Your 2023 Detroit Autorama Riddler winner, Maximus 1950 Mercury by Pro Comp Customs, Bruce Harvey. Does it two years in a row, how amazing is that? People try their whole lives and don't win it once. This cat goes up there and wins it two years in a row. And last year, I think he was telling me he had four or five more coming, so he just keeps reloading. And when this, everybody asks, Scotty, which one you think? No doubt in my mind. There was no doubt in my mind that that was going to win the Riddler. The amount of detail, the crazy level of detail, the lead sled look, the over-the-top paint and graphics and all the yay 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 that goes on in this car. It was just, to me, there was no doubt. Where do you start? You know, it's custom. Custom, five-inch chop, custom everything. Everything's custom. Custom grill, custom headlights, custom interior. Custom root beer paint, custom graphics. The whole time this video's running, I could just list custom, custom, custom. There is nothing on that that came from Mercury that way. It's got the traditional lead sled look to it. Just, just rolling art. Absolutely, that is art. 40 Coyote, stacked injection. And look at the panel work, and not just the panel work, but the, the accent painting up underneath there. The chrome where it's used, and now, holy smokes, now we're up underneath it, and man alive. In the display, you know, you can't discount the display. The car is absolutely gorgeous, but they spent the money and the time to display the car really well to make it look like it was a million dollars. And I never asked, but I would take for granted that this one topped a million dollars. 20 by 10s and 22 by 10s for wheels. One off custom, not just custom, but one off custom. I didn't get a good shot of the trunk, but it was beautiful. Underneath is just as cool, if not cooler than the top. And this is one of those cars that if you pull out a camera, you could just take pictures of it all day. It would just give you cool pictures until you got tired of pushing the button or until you got tired of walking around it. Just gorgeous. It may not be your style, but you just got to soak in and feel the, the art of it, the creativity of it, the excessiveness of it, over the top. Just crazy. And there was a lot of nice stuff in Detroit, so you know, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a case like this was the only one made it obvious. To me, it just had to look, you know. And knowing who built it, I knew that Bruce knew what he was doing when it came to these Grade Eight cars, Riddler winners. He did it last year, two years, not just two years, but two years in a row. How crazy is that? Congratulations, brother, to you and your team. You guys knocked it out of the park again. I, again, the right car won up at Detroit, if you ask me, in my humble opinion. So there you go from the 2023 Detroit Autorama, the 2023 Riddler winner, the 1950 Mercury Maximus. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.